All right, guys, it is morning of day two. Jackson and I have our work cut out for us. Um, need to make a little bit of a comeback here, but I just wanted to talk about, you know, kind of what we were doing yesterday and what we learned a little bit of. But coming into yesterday, we didn't quite know our bite windows 100%. I mean, you've always got this general idea, and uh, I really think there's an early morning crankbait bite window, especially if there's a little breeze on some of the banks that, um, you know, we were catching some fish off of. And yesterday, fortunately, there was. We capitalized on one of those early. But, uh, you know, today, so far, looking out, it's super clear skies. Um, so I don't think we're going to have a fog delay, which is hopefully going to help us out a bit. We're going to start out just burning the bank, trying to get a couple big largemouth. And uh, after that, it seemed like yesterday, especially around noon and later, they got on piles really good. And, like, they were on piles, but they just weren't really feeding on them I guess and right about that time I mean almost every single one we pulled up on had really good potential so that's what we did yesterday I'm um, catching them on just crankbait and a swim bait so it's pretty much what I got locked in right now it doesn't seem like we can get them to look at anything else not even a drop shot not a Ned rig not a Nico rig or a tube or anything like that so we're gonna stick by our guns and uh, we gotta drop a sack today um, thinking 18 to 20 pounds is what we're probably going to need so um, there's some giant bass in here people all week have been catching you know seven eight pounders six pounders so um, you know maybe it's our time to make that happen and hopefully we can just capitalize on all the bites we get today if we can do that we might have a shot so um, it's always the dream to qualify for that Bassmaster National Championship I haven't done it yet and uh, this one it feels like it's close but it's also just a little far away and we need to close that gap so stay tuned guys me and jackson are going to give it everything we got today we're going to see how it shakes out so Got one? Yeah. And a boy. Did you scope them up or? Yeah. Take him, little fatty.
looked down on live scope and I just saw him right behind my swim bit. I tied up one of those three eighths ounce, the other ones. Dude, that sucker is fat. Look how fat his stomach is. <laughs> I mean, right on the nut. you today has been a grind it's been probably one of the uh, most strangely tough days I thought that me and Jackson or we thought that we had you know kind of a decent idea of what these fish might do and something about the way it's bluebird skies and calm honestly not too far off from yesterday but today they are just not doing the whole brush pile thing the fish aren't set up on them very well and the ones that are on them are so lazy and finicky to baits that I mean <laughs> it's just been unbelievably tough so I don't know unfortunately we don't have some Hail Mary thing to really jump and run to really thought that uh, we'd be able to get some of these big fish that are sitting on the brush piles and on this other cover to go but we got about 30 minutes left you guys haven't seen much of the day probably but we're giving it all we got we've been fighting for it all day so at least we could do is catch one nice one to finish it off two five two yes sir oh he's got it close oh yeah University of Montevallo, come on up, Blair and Jackson. Weighed in 12 pounds, 3 ounces yesterday. Giving their buddies some love right there. 12 pounds, 3 ounces yesterday. Today, 8 pounds, 7 ounces. Two-day total weight, 20 pounds and 10 ounces. Well, Clark's Hill is over with. Definitely not the finish we were looking for. Uh, me and Jackson are both super disappointed, but um, another... I mean, somewhat of a learning experience. I think that we had the right idea in mind, just didn't quite have enough to expand on for today and really adapt, which disappoints me. I, I should have looked for some more uh, brush piles and stuff of that nature in a few different areas, but we just kind of ran out of time, I guess, and I didn't prioritize it right. So I will say it was super fun uh, running the boat in one of these major tournaments, getting to you know, try to run it and, and adapt and everything. Uh, had a lot of fun with Jackson overall. We learned a lot as partners this weekend, just with how we kind of 
work together and how we fish together. So uh, you're going to be seeing some more of us here in the future with the spring and tournaments. But um, yeah, definitely disappointed. I think we ended up in the low 80s. Uh, dropped a few places, weighing in eight pounds, two ounces today, something in that ballpark. So um, yeah, just really disappointing finish. Uh, we really wanted to make that comeback and. Uh, really what happened is all of our piles just ended up either not having any fish today or the fish that were in them would not commit to anything. So um, it just made life really tough in that regard. So, you know, you got to live and learn. Still a fun tournament. It's uh, not every day you get to get out and go fishing, especially in a Bassmaster tournament. So we're going to take every single opportunity we can get. You going on straight? Yeah. All right. So yeah, thanks for following along guys. Sorry that we couldn't make the finale to this whole little series here at Clarks Hill. Extra exciting, but I'm looking at Jackson right now. We're both smiling, even though we had a bad finish, but hey, it's fishing. You got to get over it. Um, there's been a lot of getting over it for me, so. Eventually one of these times it's all gonna stick and we're gonna find them. And uh, I feel like it's getting close. So we're gonna see what happens. Thanks again for uh, following along, watching this video. Make sure to subscribe guys. I'll keep making these videos so you can kind of see what it's like. Life on, co on the college trail. You know, you get to see beautiful sunsets like that. Get to be out here running around chasing bass. So really can't complain at the end of the day. Thanks for watching. Make sure to follow along in the future, and we'll see you in the next one.